Howdy, Red Faction. It's me, Dredging VTuber, back here again with a surprising Friday video. Now, let's kind of go into what this topic is going to be. Not to sugarcoat anything, just to give my thoughts and opinions on things because, <sighs> let's be fair, um, where the games that I play and everything, you hear me discussed a lot. <clears throat> Meta. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically saying this is the most optimal strategy or things to use in gaming. Now, you guys know I'm a big Destiny guy. I play Destiny a lot. Um, so, of course, I follow a lot of the big, bigger name uh, content creators out there who, let's be fair, they share a lot of how X is going to be, you know, the big thing in this game during this season and how you need to get your hands on it and how you need to use it. And it works really well with this and this and this. And if you run it with this, it's so cool. Let me give my opinion on it. <clears throat> and this is <clears throat> and this is going to be probably an opinion a lot of people have but just don't share. My opinion is meta of any kind ruins gaming. Now I've seen I've looked up there's a couple videos talking about it, but mostly they just they discuss the different games or the games that they're in or what's the you know, it's not quote quote called meta, but it's given other words. The most overpowered, the most useful, the most broken. And to be fair, yeah, it does seem like that. And a lot of people will say, yeah, that's really good and everything. And oh my god, I didn't know. I should use that. The problem then comes in the coming weeks after. Um and the, the following months after, where now, well, everyone has it. Everyone's running it. Everyone's using it. And if you're not using it, what's wrong with you? What are you doing? Why aren't you running this? It's it's not fun. Um, it, it leads to a lot of, of a bad taste in your mouth when you're just like, Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, that's boring. I don't like playing like this. But then you try to go with the stuff that you, you, you do like, that you are comfortable with. And you get flamed by people. You get kicked from things. You get reported that you're you know not being the most optimal in this encounter or doing this. <clears throat> now, am I saying metas are only a bad thing? No. There are times when they're useful, i.e. in PvE-based com in content. But that is when you are with other people. When you're trying to run it with them and you're close, and if you don't have met, it's not a big deal as long as you can substitute it out with something else. Now, why am I discussing this? Well, I was having a conversation with some of my friends offline. And we were seeing this trend happen where people <clears throat> would find this brand new game. As you guys know, um, at the end of uh, Wednesday's stream. Hi. Twitch.tv for us. Quite coyote. You can catch them. Um, join the purple faction. If you're already here, you might as well join that one too. Okay. Um, I was playing Helldivers 2. Just having stupid, dumb fun with a buddy of mine. That led to... Um, me wondering... Because I've been seeing a lot of the content creators from where I'm at in Destiny doing Helldiver videos, which is, which is great. It's a brand new game. It's fun. It's enjoyable. But I started to see the similar things I was seeing at the start of every Destiny season. 
when the big patch comes out and it changes everything, the whole landscape is different. Whether it's PvE or PvP, it changes, which is not a problem. It's good for it's good for a game to change. The issue then comes in when you're, you know, a couple months into a season and you're just kind of like, eh, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not having the same fun I was having. You know, there's no like real challenge because everything's so optimal. And it's like, I want to do this because it's challenging. I want to do this because I have fun with it. But when you have the most overpowered or most broken stuff, are you really gaming at that point? Or are you just kind of doing this because, oh, yeah, I have to do it? Is it more of you're doing it because you enjoy it? Or you're like, oh, I should probably do this today. Yeah, I wish I should. Which for me is, it's it's no way to have fun. Um, I don't think metagaming is the most fun to play. And the reason for it is because I don't feel it's fun as a person using it to just be like, I'm using this only. That's the only thing I'm using. And then being the person going against it, trying to have fun and enjoy yourself, but yet have a challenge, and you can't even do that. How am I supposed to enjoy, let's say, let's give a clear example, of a game that is was notorious for metas, and which led to the massive shift that we see, Overwatch. Overwatch was a game that had multiple metas. Multiple metas. Variety of metas that you could play no matter what. It didn't matter if you weren't running the, the top tier one. But if you were running the one well enough, it could work. I mean, there was Dive. There was, you know, uh, Pirate Ship. There was, there was so much variety of metas in that game. And then it led to the rise of the GOATS meta. Go all tanks and supports. Which was a very fun meta. It was a meta that led to just pure chaos. Um, and then there was things like Dotes, but that Dotes really wasn't like the high end. It was only kind of like that, oh, we need to stall, quickly jump on this, because this other one, you don't move fast enough. Which, you know, I, I get. You know, you have to run certain things, and there might be times when not everything is optimal. But Dotes was a meta... That in my group of friends, we were just like, holy crap, let's have some fun with this. And it worked. But because of how effective it was, and because they were seeing a real big rise of, oh my god, people are, are only playing these six characters. <clears throat> it led to a lot of an imbalance. And that's what happens. Even if it's fun and enjoyable... There are times when it's kind of monotonous. And there were times when GOATS was monotonous. It was like, oh, we gotta run GOATS? Damn, okay. It's like, they're running it, so we have to run it, because we can counter it with it better. And honestly, for me, I, I miss it. But with what I'm seeing right now, at least in the pure... Um... RQ, the roll queue aspect of it. You're you're just basically having the same thing. Make an unkillable team to pump out high bursts of damage with next to no counters. Um And then I play open uh OQ, open queue. And I'm seeing double tank, one DPS, two high healing supports. Which, let's be fair, that was go that was goats. And it was, because with how it worked is you had a main tank and you had an off tank. Then your one of your DPSs was kind of the 
the the next best tank to play with that other tank, and then you had two, not really high healing characters, but enough high healing characters that it didn't matter how much damage you could like consistently get healing off, which was kind of the point. Um. And I think they, they really wanted to go away from having, you know, goats really stay in there because they made the game 5v5. And I know they break up too much of their um, the world building and how they run things if they brought back 6v6. But I feel like it should still be an option for quick play. At least with it only being open queue and same for the competitive part of it instead of adding the role aspect of it because there are times you just want to go back to those days when you're just like you want to see how things can can operate now i know there's this hasn't really been like a fun energetic you know oh my god crazy oh 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 oh, oh. hey hey look at it. look at this um, kind of a thing. Um, but I really felt the need to come and make this just to give a perspective that is not too harsh, but also not like, oh my god, hey, look at this. What we're doing, you know. Kind of a thing. Um, and um, then it just bring, it just brings me back to Destiny, uh, with what I'm seeing now. Now this is when things are going to kind of might make some people irritated. I hate the submachine gun meta. I hate the threadling meta. I hate the overshield meta. I hate it, just because I hate it, because it's not fun. It's not fun to play. I've tried using some machine guns. I don't like them. Yes, there are some some machine guns I like, i.e. the Multimac, which is coming back in Iron Banner, which I'm going to grind for to get one. Hopefully I can get one with the rolls that I have on the one I have now, because I do like it, and I think it's a very interesting gun. But there are certain some machine guns that exist right now Mortal, that as much as it's been quote unquote nerfed, people are still using it because it's heavy usage with the Strand subclass, which the Strand subclass is great. I love it. I love, you know, the versatility of it. I love how the grenades are different and unique, and it's the same with Stasis. But here's the thing about Stasis. Stasis was so bad they had to nerf it into the ground. And you see remnants of it show up here and there, but it's still not where it once was, which is a good thing because that Stasis meta, I'm looking at you, Hunters, and I'm going to be looking at you again with, with Strand. Um, they made it very hard for you to want to engage in fights, to want to do things. And let's be fair, Strand is doing the same thing with Hunters. I'm, l I'm looking at the 6 Coyote, that exotic, you know, chest piece that gives you a second dodge when you're running that threaded specter. Yes, it's versatile, and it's good, and it's great in PvE. I think the fact that you can spawn more Threadlings and everything and just be incredibly useful is great. But... It in PvP is a nightmare. I hate it. It's like, you know, getting their second dodge or getting a second, you know, melee of a smoke bomb and then them just putting three, three of them right next to each other. Because they're running, you know, a high melee spec. They took their solar build and made it a void one, and here you go. Here's 
your smoke bombs. Here's one there, there, and there. And as someone who, you know, is a sniper and a pulse rifle user, I'm constantly going in and out of my ADS to kind of be like, okay, well, is anyone pushing now? I can't just hold this lane. I have to be aware of where they could be and hopefully kind of shift it so I can see and get a quick snipe off or burst them down. I I don't want Strand to be to be given the stasis treatment. I don't want it nerfed into the ground. And I feel like the issue we we have is it's a it's a three part issue. It's an issue on the dev side, it's an issue on the content creator side, and it's an issue on us as the gamers. We have become so enveloped in the meta and wanting to run the meta that we forget that the meta is taking away from the fun of our gaming. You know, because now it's like, oh, I died. Oh, that's because he had Thread Spectre. It insta killed me. When you're done, do you want to check out our Hulu? Yeah. Um,. That's that's the that's the big thing is it just feels that we're we're really getting away from what we really enjoyed when it came to gaming. We've gone for being so optimal and so trying to be efficient and trying to be just like the people who we watch that we feel the need to run what they run in order to kind of obtain that like Oh, oh, that sweet bliss of, yes, look what I did. When it's, you know, not really what you maybe envisioned yourself doing when you decided to play that game. And to be to be honest, I, I don't see the enjoyment of metas. I don't get where people can go, this, this right here, this is so much fun. I'm having so such a great time. Are you really? At the end of the day, that's what you have to ask yourself. Even though you're running the meta and you're getting these like great little moments, and you're like, oh my god, look, this is so fun. Is it really? Are you really having fun? Are you honestly going to sit there and tell me you're having fun? When you know for a fact in maybe a couple weeks or a couple months, will you still be having the same fun? Because that, that's what happens with metas. Metas take over something, and it's the only thing people want, it's the only thing people use, and then all of a sudden, it's gone. The things that made it good might not be there. They might not be as effective anymore. So then you're sitting there trying to figure out, well, what do I do now? What do I do now? I need to do this. I need to have something as good as this. And then you're clicking on the for looking for the next best thing. Instead of looking for it yourself. We've become embroiled in people telling us what to run that we don't run our own style anymore. We get so accustomed to, oh my god, I have this. I can make it better by running this. I don't know. I was going to try to keep this short and everything, but you know how it goes. I start rambling. Honestly, at the end of the day, I just want gaming to be fun. And I want people to play what they think is fun for them. Not what other people tell you to have fun with. If you want to play Destiny and you want to use a hand cannon and a shotgun, fine, go for it. But use one that, you know, you feel comfortable with. That you feel you can be the best with. Not with what someone else tells you to run. Find the role that works for you. Not what someone else says. If you're playing Helldivers, play with, with think, what you think is going to help your fellow brothers and sisters and hell diving freedom by using what you think will help you, help them help the best. 
you're playing Overwatch and you're trying to play a DPS character, think what's going to make it the easiest time for your tanks and your supports to be able to get in and out. Don't look up, well, what is the meta hero in Overwatch and I want to play this kind of character. Don't. Play what you have fun with. Play with what you enjoy. Play with what you think is going to be the best for your team. And learn your own game sense. Learn your own way of playing. Because gaming at the end of the day is your game to enjoy. No one else's. It's your game to enjoy. So make it something that you enjoy. Don't make it something where you have to follow the norm. Because as gamers, we're not just regular normal people. We have fun traveling to a variety of different worlds with a variety of different th things to use. So don't be focused on what other people say or do. Focus on you. You are the gamer. You are the one playing it. No one's going to take the controller from you. No one's going to tell you what what the hell, why are you doing this? I mean, okay, I shouldn't say that. There are people who are going to tell you what the hell you're doing because that's just how people are. But never see gaming as where you have to be the best. Have gaming be the one where you're the one having the fun. I think if we all just start having fun with games again, these meta things and these overpowered, oh my god, it's so broken, look at this, it's so good. After they've logged like 50 plus hours with the most optimal build, running this thing a numerous amount of times to get a clip where they compile it together to say it's good. Let's be fair. How many of those stream how many of those people are going into those games using the same loadout that they just made a video on? I could say this this sniper rifle is so amazing, it's so great. And I could compile a video and just be like, Well this is the snipe I got here, this is the snipe I got here, this is the snipe I got here. Oh look at this, the snipe I got here. Or this weapon, I, well, I got this kill, and I got that one, so we're going to compile them all together. And I'm going to show you just how good it is. They never show you the real raw footage of that recording. Unless you're in their live stream when they're recording it. But most of us don't have time for that. Most of us do regular things, like work a day job. We come to gaming to have fun. And are you really having fun if you're... Hmm... I wonder, if I run this and this, and it's so optimal, I wonder if anyone else has thought of this. So then you look it up and you see it and you think, oh, well, that would make that better. That would make that better. Oh, if I boost this, this would be better here. And then you're using it. And it's not in your play style. It's not in your wheelhouse. It looks so good. They made it look so good. But it's not working for you. Play what you think works for you. Play with what you will enjoy. Don't play what other people say. That's gaming in a nutshell. Don't listen to what other people say. It's your game. You're the one who does it. And that's it at the end of the day. Yours. No one else bought the game for you. No one else gave you that controller or that keyboard. No one else logs in the hours on your account. If they do, that's kind of a bad thing. You should probably get that looked at. But that's the that's the bread and butter of everything. Meta, it helps certain aspects of the game, but it also ruins a lot of it. You think you're having fun, and then you realize you've been running it for too long. Then it becomes boring. Then it becomes stagnant. And then the enjoyment is gone. So just don't worry about metas. Worry about fun. And if the meta is ruining your fun, well, you find ways to counter it. You find ways to play different. Gaming is about learning. 
and learning doesn't exactly help you if you're just watching the same five videos about the same loadout, same build. And if people want to, you know, say, well, what, what are you doing? You're terrible. You're trash. You should go away. You should be using this. They're not the one logging in your gaming hours. They're not the one doing this for you. You're figuring out what works best for you. So focus on that. Nothing else. Now this is this is reaching like a half hour mark, so I have to end this up soon. So, end of the day. Meta? Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. Fun. That's what matters. Don't think of it any, in any way, shape, or form else. If you're having fun, have fun. If you're running the meta, please find more fun. Find a way of changing it, making it more interesting for yourself. And if you're someone who only thinks the meta should be used, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. There's, I, you're not going to listen. End of the day. This isn't to change anyone's mindset. This is just to give an opinion. Meta, metas in any format, in any game, PvE, PvP, hybrid style game modes, metas don't make things fun. They make things easy. And the only time things should be easy, hell, not even then, not even in high-end content should it ever be easy, because there should be a challenge. Metas make things less of a challenge. And that's not gaming. You could read a book at that point. Simple as enough. Simple as said. But with that being said, Red Faction, I will see you guys on Sunday. We are going to see what Destiny has in store for us. It's probably going to be something I'm not going to want to run on a map I'm not going to want to play on. But I'm going to have fun regardless. So with that being said, everyone, have a great weekend. I will see you on Sunday. Live on twitch.tv for us. That's quiet underscore coyote at 11 a.m. CST. Can't wait to see you guys there. I hope you have a great weekend. Peace.